grade two Norxa, and I had them do 50 of them, and I had a party, and we showed the film, and everybody got one as they went home, and I have to say, I feel guilty, because then everybody came back and bought four and five more, because everyone in the family wanted them. I didn't feel guilty for very long, though. It was okay. I got over it real fast. Now, this is a product that I love from a company called Kiyosera, which you probably heard of them about making phones and things like that. This is made out of ceramic. So ceramic is one notch down from diamond in sharpness, so it will cut through things like carrots, back and forth, you just go back and forth on your bowl. It'll cut carrots, paper thin, it will cut cucumbers, zucchini, onions, it'll do uh, slaw. And what I love about it is that this stays fixed, and you never have to adjust a very sharp blade. This is the part that moves up and down according to how you turn the roll bar in the back. And that'll adjust to four thicknesses. And it even comes with a little um, finger protector, so as the fruit or vegetable gets smaller, I advise that you use this, because I've done it one time, it only takes one time <laughs> to cut yourself without the protector. And this is a great product because it makes things nice and uniform. Anybody like tortillas out there? Like for your meals, you throw, are you making tortillas at all? Are you, how are you warming them up? Um, I actually put them in a dish towel and put them in the microwave. Oh, okay, so you've got the right idea, and that works pretty well, mm -hmm. right? Well, this is sort of the glorified dish towel. This is an item I cannot keep in stock. It's a tortilla warmer. And what I love about it is you just take your tortillas out, and you want to make sure, you know, sometimes they're stuck together. Mm -hmm. So if you take them and separate them before, before they're hot, it's a lot easier. You just stick them in the glove, and you can use um, whole wheat flour or whatever. Put this in your microwave for a minute or less. It even tells you on the back how long to cook each, each amount that you're going to do. When you pull this out and you have a meal, sometimes you're there. But we do make your own tacos on Tuesday night quite often at my house. So I'll have all the ingredients out. And even when we go through the line two and three times, because remember I have three boys and they may eat a lot, at the end of the meal they're still warm. So it really keep, does a great job on keeping them warm. And it steams them so they're more supple. They don't break when you, when you um, try and roll them up. And it works great for um, rolls, uh, muffins, cornbread, all that. And they come in four different patterns, like a sunburst and a, another vegetable. And then there's actually a mine when making tortillas in black and white. It's really, really great item. Christmas, I think these are $12 or something. This is a great Christmas gift. Or just bring it to someone's house when you're going, going over there for dinner. Now, I don't know about you, but I love guacamole. And have you all seen this before? Anybody else like guacamole here? Okay, at my party, that's what I forgot to mention, from one to four, we call him the Doc of Guac. We'll be on hand. Pam, you gotta be there then, because she knows about the Doc of Guac. He's the best. He's, he's the, the best. best guacamole I've ever had. I'm, I'm from El Centro, okay? I've had guacamole, but this guy tops it. He's he does. Dad. He does. And he's he so does. fun. He's rah, out there. And, and so we call him the Doc of Guac, and he swears by this tool. So what you do is you take your avocado, and you need, use your nice little holy knife. Just cut your avocado in half like, you know, any other way you're gonna do it, all the way around like so, okay? And then you take this little gadget right here, and you line, you, what I always tell people is hold the wider end away from you, and you line the blade up just under the skin, like so, okay? And begin pushing it and, and pulling it, or scooping it, I guess is a better way to say it. And then you have perfect slices of avocado. And it's just so nice, it's peeled and sliced, <laughs> So it's uniform, so you can imagine how pretty this would be on a salad or in your sandwiches. But then if you take it another step further and throw it in a bowl and start mashing it, this is the greatest tool called the guac, this is actually called the guacamole tool. And again, you'll see Alberto, he cannot make guacamole without it, I don't right. think. And so you just start mashing it, and just within seconds, it's already mashed chunky, and again, if you like it a little more smooth, you just keep mashing it. Now, anybody make guacamole here with lime juice? Or you, yeah, lime juice? We found, we used to put lemon juice in there, and we found that the lime juice has a little more flavor. And sometimes, I'm gonna do a little demonstration to show you. You have your lime. Now let's just say I was at home and I didn't have any gadget, and I just had to squeeze it with my bare hands, okay? I'm gonna squeeze it. Oh, this is a pretty juicy lime. So I can get quite a bit of juice out of this lime with my bare hands. I even had my Wheaties for breakfast, so I'll give it all my might. Okay, that's pretty much the end of it, okay? That's fine, you don't mind really throwing that way, but for us frugal people, <laughs> put this gadget, and now you don't have to do this ahead of time. This is just an experiment to show you. I'm gonna take the lime that I'm done with getting juice out of, putting it here, the cut side down, so that where the holes are on underneath, and I'm gonna squeeze it. And look how much more juice I got out of that same lime. Because it turns the lime inside out. It also, we have one that's a little bit bigger for lemons, that's yellow and then a little bit larger still for oranges. That's a little bit bigger, it makes great orange juice. Now here's that same, the other half. Look at how much more juice I'm gonna get. Isn't that great? 
So this is a really fun gift when you give it to somebody who loves guacamole. We call it the guac. Yeah, doesn't it? You got the garlic and the lime. When you do a guacamole kit, you can do the avocado peeler slice with the lime squeezer and then the masher. And we put this in a clear bag with peppers all over it. We tie it up and we tie on his famous guacamole recipe with this hanging on the end of the, you know, around the neck of the bag. And I think it sells for about $37.95. And it's like the best gift. So at our party, we'll have a bunch already made up. Because once you try his guacamole, you're going to want to go home and make it. And you're going to want all the tools. So it's a great little, um, again, hostess gift. We just like to have stuff really easy for people because we do complimentary gift wrap. We ship and we only charge you what we're charged. So we can ship anywhere that you need if you have uh, presents that you want to send out. Just come in early enough for Christmas because it starts getting really busy. Who likes pineapple here? Like Who likes cutting pineapple? No one. <laughs> All the hands go down. One time I asked that one person in the back to raise their hand. I said, what are you crazy? And then you come on up and show me how you do it. And he struggled with it, you know. So I want to do like a side-by-side -side, uh, demonstration of how fast even a, a full-fledged chef can cut a pineapple compared to using this gadget. Now again, you take your handy-dandy knife and you cut the pineapple, oh, I don't know, about an inch or so down from the top, like so. Okay. So now... And save this, don't throw this away. Now I've exposed the core, okay? And that part is yucky, you know, it's hard. You don't eat that part. So that's why pineapples are a pain. You've got to go like this, and you've got to take it out the middle. And my mom used to do a really neat thing with it, with like make a boat out of it, and it was really great, but I, don't, I could never do that. So I, now I'm going to take this gadget right here, and I'm going to line up the teeth that are also in a circle, right up to the core, like so, okay? And then I'm going to be turning and pushing all at the same time and what I'm doing is I'm peeling, coring, and slicing this pineapple all at the same time. When I get to the bottom, the pressure, let's see, I'm getting there, the pressure re relieves, okay? So now I'm like this at this stage and I'm simply going to pull it up. And there I have a peeled, cored, because look at here's the core left behind, and sliced, sliced pineapple, okay? Now the directions say, squeeze the button like so, and then pop this all off, okay? Well, I used to do that, but I don't really like it in the ringlets because I usually am cutting it up a little bit smaller for salads or fruit bowls or whatever. So what I do is I take my nice little knife with the garlic onion, and I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go all the way around. <clears throat> Starting at the top, and in about one inch increments, I'm gonna turn it, go all the way around. When I get back to where I started from, all of the pineapple, is peeled, poured, sliced, and diced in what, like 20 seconds altogether. Wow. And wow. it tastes better. It really does because you're juicing it up. And then what you can do is you can reach in with your knife. I'm making a mess over here. You're going to reach in like so, cut out the excess core, and then just put the extra pineapple back in the shell. And then I like to get watermelon and cantaloupe and also do like a melon baller and cut that up because you always end up with a little extra pineapple. And then I interspace like six inch bamboo skewers with watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple.